It's the Joe Show. It's Thoughtful Thursday here on the Joe Show, and you know what that means. We're looking at a thoughtful article. Here's a thought for you. My microphone's broken. So if you think that you can't do anything just because you don't have the right technology or the right setup, you're wrong. You can do it. Look at me. I got to hold my mic today because my mic stand broke, and I tried to fix it, and it wasn't happening. But... That aside, let's jump into today's article because it'll make you think for sure and might even alter your mind and perception because it's about drugs. <laughs> Were LSD and marijuana the secrets to Steve Jobs' billions and the reason why I have an iPhone right now? Was it LSD? Who knows? Let's find out in this short read. It was after Steve Jobs lost his battle to cancer that the biography simply called Steve Jobs was released. The book was written after hours and hours of interviews with the legendary co-founder, former chairman, and former chief executive officer of Apple, Steve Jobs. A lot of people don't realize he was also the head of Pixar for a bit. That's a thing that happened. Some people were shocked to learn some intimate details about the genius's personal life, but especially about his recreational drug use yeah baby that's what we're talking about getting high steve jobs knew all about that it was already shocking that jobs had risen to such heights without a college degree after he quit school in just six months and hoped everything would quote just be fine but most people don't know about him dabbling in eastern philosophy veganism not showering and using lots and lots of mind-altering substances. Apparently, LSD was Steve Jobs' drug of choice. In fact, he wanted little to do with anyone who didn't experiment with the drug. During Apple's early... You know what? Before I even read that next sentence, that is probably why LSD has gained such popularity in Silicon Valley in the past couple of years because people idolize Steve Jobs. In Silicon Valley, the workers there have this idolatry of these tech icons like Steve Jobs and Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. These people are idolized and it's super annoying to me. I don't know. I don't, I just view them as people. They were all just people that did something like created an iPhone and created a lot of value for the world, but that doesn't mean that they need to be totally idolized and placed above everybody else. Um, Yes, they did big things, but they were also flawed human beings like we see here. Steve Jobs was experimenting with Eastern philosophy, veganism, and not showering, and also doing LSD. And then because people idolize him, they're like, I must take LSD, and then I will be super successful. (laughs) It's not how that works. Apparently, LSD was his uh, drug of choice. During Apple's early years, Jobs sought out rebellious applicants, not the usual technology geeks who actually answered the postings for the jobs. When one uptight candidate came in for an interview, Jobs asked him, are you a virgin? And how many times have you taken LSD? I hope that is the truth. Those are such great job questions. Hey, you a virgin? No? If you ever thought about LSD? <laughs> Not only did Jobs want to have colleagues who explored their own minds with psychedelics, but he also chalked up his own success to drugs. This has all come to light from past FBI files on Jobs from the days when he needed government clearance to work at Pixar. In the clearance questionnaire, Jobs confessed. Throughout that period of time, 1972 to 1974, I used LSD approximately 10 to 15 times, Jobs said. I would ingest the LSD on a sugar cube or in a hard form of gelatin. Yo, Steve Jobs not only liked exploring his mind, but he had a sweet tooth. The more you know. I would usually take the LSD when I was by myself. I have no words to explain the effect LSD had on me, although I can say it was a positive, life-changing experience for me, and I'm glad I went through that experience. Jobs also smoked marijuana or hashish or ate it cooked into "Ah, chocolate brownies. I told you he had a sweet tooth. Uh, Once or twice a week between 1973 and 1977. For many people, these revelations won't come as much of a surprise. Apparently, many brilliant people, often innovators, have used drugs to expand the boundaries of their minds. Bill Gates, another billionaire techie, also has a past with LSD. Didn't know that about Bill Gates. For some reason, our culture doesn't equate genius with drug use, but Jobs definitely is proof that the two are not always mutually exclusive. I think actually a lot of geniuses, for example, musical geniuses, also take drugs. And that makes sense, as I've experimented with some drugs before, like mushrooms through microdosing and marijuana through smoking it. And guess what? I can say that it is they have definitely helped me work through anxieties and work through problems that I've had and also opened my mind to what is possible in the world and given me a sense of 
Sometimes belonging and warmth that I haven't gotten through anything else. With that being said, I always have been nervous to take drugs because you are altering your mind. And if something goes wrong, something can seriously go wrong. So if you are going to experiment with drugs, I would highly suggest that you do it in controlled environment. Don't just take drugs because they're offered to you. Set up a time to do it with friends who can provide for you if something goes wrong especially if you're doing it for the first time do not do it for the first time with somebody who you don't trust and with a dose that you don't have measured and always 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 start small wait at least an hour and then add a little bit more to see if you're feeling anything because what will happen especially with novice drug users is that they'll take a little bit be like, oh, this isn't working, and then it hits super hard, and then they've already taken a second dose, and then they just get wrecked. So be responsible with your drug use because it will open up your mind and can take you to interesting places and potentially lead you down a path to being a billionaire. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't do it for the money. Do it for the experience. When uh, Steve Jobs was mentioning it, he didn't say it. I did it for the billions. He said I was glad I did it for the experiences that I had. That's been today's Joe Show. Hopefully you learned something new about potentially taking drugs. And now that you're, now you're thinking about it in a different way. Or maybe you're already experimenting with drugs. And now you have, I don't know, another view and another perspective. And new thoughts about drug use. Either way... Until next time, read something good. You can send interesting things over to hijoshow at gmail.com. Subscribe to my show and mash that bell to get a notification every time I upload a new video. And please tell a friend about me because we're trying to grow this thing. Thank you. And until next time, I love you.